अमूल दूध पीता है इंडिया वेल वॉट इफ यू टेल यू दैट नॉट द होल ऑफ इंडिया ड्रिंक्स अमूल मिल्क येस साउथ इंडिया रेफ्रिजरेटर्स एस्पेशली कर्नाटका आर डोमिनेटेड बाय नंदिनी फ्रॉम मिल्क टू कर टू पनीर नंदिनी रूल्स द स्टेट विद सिक्सटी फाइव परसेंट मार्केट शेयर but now amul is finally entering karnataka and while this may be good news for all the north indians who've moved to bangalore this announcement has started a major tussle in the state the tussle is no longer restricted to amul versus nandini it has now triggered a political bjp versus congress fight right before the elections let's look at why this intense fight over milk is heating up first let's give you some context Amul is the brainchild of the Gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation while Nandini is the brainchild of the Karnataka Milk Federation both are cooperatives that were born with one vision to empower dairy farmers by helping them earn more for the milk they produce both these cooperatives have been super successful while Amul has reached a wider audience pan India Nandini is giving it a fair fight in the south this dynamic could change with Amul now entering Karnataka but why the sudden interest in Karnataka Amul Karnataka is one of the biggest consumers of milk in India and with more people from north india now shifting to bangalore for jobs Amul's target audience in the north is declining its target audience is shifting to the south so is amul it wants to serve its audience wherever they go plus amul is in its expansion phase it wants to expand to other items like atta sodas etc so capturing a larger audience makes sense now why are others vehemently opposing this logical strategy people are afraid amul strategy might be a little too effective it might create a super high brand recall and push nandini to the sidelines and that would be disastrous for the 23 lakh dairy farmer families that kmf supports these dairy farmers are already going through a lot right now inflation has raised their costs and lumpy skin disease has reduced production amul's entry could make things worse for them so the people of karnataka are trying to save their farmers hotel associations have pledged their support to nandini and even the common people are supporting this cause and to be fair nandini does have advantages on the home ground first it can provide fresher milk amul will have to procure its milk from goa or other nearby states which could result in less fresh milk second amul is much more expensive than nandini while 1 liter of nandini costs 39 rupees 1 liter of amul will cost 54 to 64 rupees the competition is tough the space is boiling but thanks to the upcoming elections in karnataka this whole competition has turned into a political controversy well we don't dwell into the political realm much but today it's important The Congress claims this is BJP's agenda to sideline Nandini and promote Amul. They're blaming the government for a decline in KMF's milk procurement from 99 lakh liters to 71 lakh liters. This decline, however, could be just due to the lumpy skin disease epidemic which impacted cattle in India and killed lakhs of cows. Many citizens are also claiming that the move intends to weaken Nandini so it agrees to a merger with Amul something that had apparently been hinted at earlier Karnataka citizens are rightly worried about the farmers as they could see a drastic fall in milk consumption after Amul's entry the government on the other hand is not worried it claims Nandini is not just a state brand it's an established national brand that can take competition especially on its home ground now we'll have to wait and watch which one of them is right what are your thoughts on amul's entry into karnataka see you in the next episode jai hind